Sherry Tangbergen from thewatercolorgourmet.com here at the Art and Culture Center in Hollywood, Florida. In this clip, I'm going to show you how to shade using watercolors. You will need paper, you will need brushes, you will need a bowl of water, you will need watercolor paints. The first thing you want to remember when shading a watercolor is you want to leave some what we call highlights where the water or the white paper shows through the watercolors and you want to have some dark shadows on the bottom. So let's take an orange for example. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint a nice orange on my paper. But I'm not going to paint that orange color all the way around because if I were to do that, the, I might as well have cut that orange out of a piece of paper and I don't like that. I'm going to leave the top area totally white and I'll blend that in later. The second thing about uh, making a shadow is yes, you can paint with more layers of orange on the bottom to make your orange look darker and darker. But what's even better is to take the blue, which is a complement of orange on the color wheel, and mix that with your orange paint and then use that for your shadow. And the reason why I like to do that is because a shadow using the complementary color of blue mixed with orange makes for a much more vibrant and colorful shadow. And what do we do with the top? We take a clean, pretty clean brush here and we start just blending this all together. And we get lighter and lighter, leaving a little bit of white at the top so that our orange starts to look three-dimensional, like the one you see on the bottom. This is Sherry Tangbergen. Thanks for watching.